How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Daniel Tech and today my video will be a little bit different because I'll not show you any tutorial or how to. Today I'm going to talk about the iPhone 8. Alright, just before we begin, uh, I have to tell you that it may be called iPhone 8 and it may be called iPhone Edition. Okay, just so we start. And throughout this video I may call it iPhone 8 or iPhone Edition. Uh, it is something that may happen so you guys should be aware. Alright, so let's get started when with the release date okay so the iPhone 8 or edition will most likely be released in September during the event Apple uh, does every year of uh, releasing new iPhones so in September we're gonna have an event and we're gonna have the release of the iPhone 7s and a new flagship device which will be the high-end iPhone 8 or iPhone edition first the iPhone 7s and 7s Plus will be available right after, so like well, a couple weeks after like it always is. And the iPhone 8 or iPhone edition should be available right after as well, but a very, very, very short number of devices. So you'll probably not be able to put your hands on one of these guys right in September. Okay, so uh, in October, November and beginning of December, right there, right next to the Christmas period and the Christmas sales, that's when Apple will, act will actually make the iPhone 8 available for the masses. Masses. Okay, so uh, that's probably when they have a big, big, big supply for those devices. And the reason for that is quite simple. It's just because uh, Apple doesn't really, can't really keep up with the demand for all the parts, for the display, for some of the chips and some of the technology. So uh, it, can't, it just can't have so many devices available right away like it generally does. So that's pretty much release date and uh, now you know that it will be a third device that's the first time Apple is actually gonna release three iPhones in one go okay now let's talk about the iPhone edition itself you have to understand that the whole point with this iPhone 8 is not actually functionalities and a lot of new features what Apple is trying to do with this device is making a completely different design uh, for the iPhone this is the biggest change the iPhone will have in design since it began okay so from one generation to the other if you know what I mean so we're, we're not gonna have so many different functionalities new functionalities or new features or new capabilities it's all about design so let's go ahead and start showing some images right there with this first image you can already tell that the iPhone will be all about display uh, very very similar to the Galaxy S8 it'll have a giant display and almost or actually no bezels and if you ask me where's the home button is because the home button will be integrated in the display okay uh, we are almost sure about that about that integration but there's also another possibility for the sensor that I'll talk about in a bit okay moving on to the next image you guys can see that it's just a very front view right now and you can see that the bottom we're pretty much not getting any bezels on the bottom and right at the top we'll have a very very short space just for a few sensors the speaker and the front <coughs> sorry and the front camera okay next let's talk about camera uh, from those other previous pictures that I showed you 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 already realized there's something different with the cameras right so let me put this image right there so you guys can have a better look and as you guys can see the camera will be vertical now so we still have the dual layout okay uh, we have two cameras pretty much doing the same thing <clears throat> but now they will be vertical and probably the flash will be in the middle between the cameras a lot of people are talking about this and seeing if this is gonna this is gonna work because it's very complicated putting the 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 flash so close to the lenses because when the flash is activated it can actually blur the image so it can have some ghost effect or something like that so I don't know how this is gonna go but all the schematics that we have point to this vertical camera layout with the flash in the middle and if you ask me why they change the orientation from the horizontal dual camera to the vertical is because of virtual reality we are seeing that it's very likely that the iPhone 8 will have virtual reality ca capabilities so that's for some reason for some technical reason if the camera is in a vertical layout it is better for uh, for the, the phone actually to create and to generate this virtual reality uh, interface for you so it's just better and uh, also for augmented reality so apparently virtual layout that's what's gonna happen okay now let's talk about the touch ID so we have 
a few possibilities. We have the possibility of the Touch ID being integrated in the screen, as I told you. So like, uh, it would just be the bottom part of the screen and then you put your finger and it will read through the glass, okay? This technology apparently already is already here, but Apple's having so many problems implementing it and apparently it's a very, very complicated thing to do. But it already exists and it's probably what will happen, okay? There's like more than a 50% chance that it will be integrated in the display. But we, we also had the possibility of the Touch ID, the Touch ID be uh, in the back of the display. So the fingerprint sensor would actually be in the back. And that, Jesus, I just hated that idea. I just hate that Android uh, devices uses it. It just makes me laugh of how ridiculous it is, like putting this uh, sensor in the back. I just hate it. And, but a lot of leaks were pointing that it would actually be in the back. So I was actually starting to get a little bit concerned. But uh, new leaks came out with many, with many more details and much more information, and it's almost ruled out that it, it just won't be in the back. So we have the front possibility, the back possibility, which is probably not gonna happen, maybe like a 10% chance of happening, but we have a third possibility, and I'm just pulling back one of those images I showed you before. In this image, you can actually see that if you look uh, from this view of the front of the device on the right side, or if you look uh, from the back of the device on the left side, you can see the power button, okay? You can see the power button right there is a, apparently a normal power button. But if you look into detail, you can actually see that it is double the size of the power button that we have on our iPhones today. So why is it so big? And some people were actually saying that Apple has a plan B that if they can't implement in time the Touch ID sensor in the display, they will actually put the Touch ID in the power button. I particularly hate that idea. I just think it's not ergonomical. I just think it's gonna be so weird to always having to hold your device like this to get the fingerprint, uh, uh, to get the fingerprint sensor, or maybe like that. It just makes no sense. It would be ridiculous. I would actually probably even prefer in the back than actually on the power button. But it is very very strange that all the new schematics are showing this huge power button. So let's wait and see. It's just a possibility that I'm giving to you guys. All right, now we're talking about wireless charging, finally wireless charging. Android, <coughs> Android devices have wireless charging for so long and I, the iPhone just didn't have. And this new schematic leaked and you have this huge circle, almost like this huge circle cutout that it, that it actually cuts the Apple logo uh, in the middle and it goes all the way back, almost, all the way down actually, almost to the iPhone logo at the bottom. And that circle, will be actually a cutout in the case, in the casing of the phone, the metal casing of the phone, and it will be filled, of course, with another material that will make wireless charging possible. Well, that's great, right? We don't know if Apple will put inside the box, you know, and, and wireless charger, because of course you need the surface to charge the thing, or you have to buy it separately, we never know, because Apple is Apple. So, but it's almost sure that wireless charging is coming. It's like a 90% chance. And actually, just something new that will not be on the iPhone 8, but Apple has uh, created some patents about wireless charging, but wireless charging over the air, as they're calling. So you would actually have some kind of uh, modem, like uh, like a, a wireless router, for example, but instead of emitting the Wi-Fi signal, it would emit some kind of energy, energy signal that the iPhone could actually captate and recharge. So you would actually just step in your house, you don't need to do anything, phone in your pocket or phone on the desk, and then it would just be automatically uh, charged, very slowly but constantly charged, so then you wouldn't need to actually plug it or anything like that. But again, that's very, very futuristic. That's something we'll probably just see in a couple of years. But just so you guys know. Okay, uh, something that a lot of people are asking as well is dimensions. But so. Because of this huge screen in the front, how big will the iPhone 8 be? And look at this schematic that I got for you. And just so you guys have an idea, uh, the iPhone, the normal iPhone, the iPhone 7, has 4.8 inches in size, which is measured diagonally. And uh, the iPhone Plus, the iPhone 7 Plus or 6 Plus or 6S Plus, whatever, is 5.5 inches, okay? So it's almost one inch bigger. So, uh, that's the size for those devices. But the iPhone 8 will actually be 5.8 inches. So you may think, this thing is gonna be huge. It's 
Like the iPhone 7 Plus is already a pretty big thing. So if it's 0.3 inches bigger, it's just bigger. So it's just like, wow, it's too big. But since we have virtually no bezels on the phone, the iPhone 8 will actually have a similar size to the normal iPhone, to the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 6. So it'll have like a 4.7 inch body, if you know what I mean, but with a 5.8 inch screen. So imagine holding like a smaller, uh, the form factor of, a, of an iPhone 7 in your hand, but having a huge screen bigger than an iPhone 7 Plus. To finish it up, we always need to know about the price. So the iPhone 8 will be launched at a price point of $1,000, okay? Maybe $9,999, something like this, but it will be around $1,000. And that's expected for the base model. So we're expecting maybe uh, value going up to $1,299, something like this. So it'll be a phone as expensive as a laptop, as a Mac, as a Mac laptop, which is already very expensive. So you guys have an idea of how expensive and how special this phone will be just because of its price. And Jesus, I would start saving now if I were you because it's very expensive. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a relatively different video from what I do. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked it and also hit the like button if you did, hit the dislike button if you didn't. But I just ask you, if you hit the dislike button, please comment and tell me what you didn't like. Also, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so every time I post a new video, you will be notified on your smartphone. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.